As the metaverse matures and augments real life in digital spaces, opportunities for companies to monetize the virtual will shift business strategies. Whether leaders think that is weird or wonderful, it's to be ignored at your own PL peril. I'm Patrick Lynch. Let's jump into the verse. Believe me, many of us were around when the notion of an online strategy sounded as strange or irrelevant as many are thinking the metaverse sounds today. Executives questioned how to make money online and online shopping, it was a fantasy. Executives interviews as late as the 1990s were replete with those skeptical that it was even possible to make money on the internet and online shopping, it was foreboden by those that controlled the backbone of the internet. Those were times when companies didn't think that they would need a chief digital officer or a chief analytics officer. History may be repeating itself here with the metaverse. I was at Accenture and recall at that time, the coaching that the firm gave employees and partners to get online. It was just that strange of an idea. At that time, I traveled over 20 countries and talked with companies and customers about these themes. The same kind of concerns that are at stake today were definitely on their minds back then. Is this a safe place to be? How will it work? How will it help us serve customers? Revisiting my Accenture roots, Technology Vision 2020 that they've recently published highlights how the metaverse is really a continuum of technology and experiences that are reshaping business. While the full report is fascinating, there's a useful infographic that nicely frames the metaverse in what today are very familiar terms. Augmented reality, the same kinds of techniques and tools that we're using on TikTok to uh, make fun faces or on Amazon or Wayfair to see products on our counters, they are really an extension of the metaverse. Artificial intelligence is there too. It's really just part of corporate strategy, using data to make better decisions. And while those areas themselves are maturing, then they'll give a different perspective with the metaverse. It's really just a, another step of digital transformation and innovation that is already underway. This vision convincingly illustrates just that the internet is evolving beyond a simple website to now the foundation of what is going to be tomorrow's businesses. So the metaverse is going to be something really new. Maybe the internet reimagined is a better way of thinking about it. And just like in prior industrial revolutions, it is likely to have a positive impact on organizations to create and deliver new value. It's a spectrum of solutions that has converged because technologies have matured and it's now impacting new growth. The famed Michael Porter at Harvard Business School who transformed our thinking of competitive strategy framed this up as late as 2017 saying that the metaverse, which in his view involves augmented reality, is delivering value in at least three different ways. The first is it's helping us visualize the physical world in new ways. It's just an information that's really overlaid on products and things that we're interacting with. The second is using augmented reality for instruction in like training or guiding people to perform different tasks. And a third is interacting, manipulating things digitally through some kind of augmented reality interface. All of this helps us simulate possible relationships of how one thing relates to another. If anybody's ever assembled a piece of Ikea furniture and you've looked at those instructions, wouldn't it be nice if the entire thing popped open in front of you and maybe helped you assemble it in space in real time? I know that I would much prefer that. So the metaverse has lots of other champions besides Michael Porter. Uh, Microsoft in their HoloLens is using it to already help companies uh, do what they're calling mixed reality. You can touch, move, and rotate, even click on objects that uh, might help you design things faster or better. Uh, DHL, the global delivery company, they are using these technologies to improve efficiency in their warehouses. So it's really about an opportunity to share a new kind of collaborative space and consider how uh, different things that we're already using and different ways of designing could be more efficient and less costly if we were to use these technologies and gain new experience and insight along the way of how we're communicating with others. As a professor at Thunderbird Global Management, I'm instructing the first Metaverse in the Global Enterprise course this semester. And I can see our graduates are very interested in using the metaverse to help others along the same journey. Maybe you are already seeing how Michael Porter's perspective on augmented reality can create value or new ways that you could see visualizing information and interacting with objects in your business could maybe stimulate new kinds of value. All of these are ways that your staff and employees could have new opportunities to collaborate. Are you doing these things already? 
let me know your thoughts below so we can continue the conversation. And until next time, this is Patrick Lynch. I'll see you in the verse. I'm instructing the first Metaverse in the Global Enterprise course this semester. And I can see our graduates are very interested in using the universe, using the Metaverse 